so you want layers but you're not an ogre so you decide to become a parfait hey guys i'm about to spy kai i'm kai and today we're back once again taking a look at how i made this cool pixel art sky scene and uh we started off just with a with a super solid blue background and i just darkened the color and then made it slightly more blue and i just kind of did some cool dithering with like thinner lines and thicker lines and i went all the way down the canvas like that um and I didn't really exactly know what I wanted to do. I just knew that I wanted to have a moon um, and some clouds and maybe like mountains or trees or water. I was actually thinking of doing water when I started off, but I actually did mountains once the uh, once we got to the end there. But um, so the biggest thing about this was just the was the shading actually because typically I usually do a lot of flat style graphic. Uh, pixel art but um but today because i knew that we would need some depth for this to work and we couldn't just have flat colors then i had to go ahead and shade some things so i have some base colors obviously with the white kind of just creating these little tiny dents in the in the folds of the clouds to make it look like it's like puffy or um bubbly or whatever you want to call it and then we just drop the color down add a little bit of blue to it and then we create a little shadow there so it looks like it's uh a bit darker on the bottom half and I also do a second pass of the same thing with a little bit of darker colors now with the moon I did the same thing so on some of the edges I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll put some darker colors to make it look like it's rounded or it's not super flat and I also do that with the clouds here as well um, and it, right there you see I'm kind of dithering the edges which is just creating a, a, a singular dark pixel on some of the edges and some of the, the places where it should be a little bit more round um, so on the edges of the clouds of the edges of the bubbles of the clouds you know that kind of thing um, for the most part, I kind of just wanted to make it super, super simple. I didn't want anything to like take over the uh, the piece. I just wanted it to be really basic, really, really basic. And I feel like the clouds uh, really draw your attention. And I did want to go ahead and duplicate these over and create another ver another version of these clouds on the uh, on the other side here. So it looks like there's you know more things filling out the space. I created this little these, these little pieces coming off the clouds because I thought it looked really cool. Like you know, it may look kind of dream like, and I like that a lot. So um, little tiny chunks kind of just falling off of the tips of the clouds, which I thought was really really sweet. Just changing the shapes up a little bit so it looks like it's a you know different formation instead of like the same exact cloud. Um, and then the the most fun of the most fun part about this entire piece is i'll do it in, in, in a little bit the most fun part about this whole thing is actually the um the plane that i make i make a plane and there's a little there's a little smoke cloud behind the, the plane and it is absolutely the most fun piece about this i love it it looks so good um setting these little tiny pieces under the clouds to kind of smooth them into the environment as well give it a little bit of a wispy look you know it looks a little bit more wispy or cloudy or foggy or whatever you want to call it um, so yeah, I, I do that a lot with clouds actually. Um, just kind of create some space around the clouds and make it look a bit cool. And here we go with the plane. I love this. So I created like a singular smoke trail, and then I just kind of darkened like each section, just going down further away from the plane, and add these little particles on the on the ends and around um, around the smoke trail. And I think it looks so cool. I absolutely love it. And we just create that little bi the little biplane or whatever you want to call it. And um, I love that. It looks so cool. It's one of my favorite things uh, that I've made in pixel art, which is crazy because it's just like a little tiny plane, but I, I just love the way it looks for some reason. I, I don't know why. It just looks so good to me. Um, and then we get, go, went ahead in these mountains, put a little bit of snow on the top, make it a little bit lighter up there, you know? Um, and I think the cool thing about uh, about these types of pixel art pieces is that they, they don't have to they don't have to be a lot. They don't have to be crazy, you know? They can just be exactly what you're saying. It's just super simple and it just looks good it just looks fun i like it so i hope you ladies and gentlemen enjoyed it i will see you in the next one um i'm absolutely loving pixel art it's so great i'm glad you guys are enjoying it as well um but yeah so if there's something you want me to pixel art like a scene or a character let me know down below as always i will see you ladies and gentlemen in the next one but until then bye bye